The China study is actually not a study, it's a book. And it shouldn't, I would not reference it for health or ways to reduce cancer risk. I'm gonna tell you five reasons why. Hi, my name's Nicole, I'm a USA Cancer Dietitian. Link in bio for one-on-one -on -one coaching to get support on how to build a cancer prevention lifestyle backed by strong human data. So the first issue of the China study is selection bias. This means that the author highlights and brings to the front the data that supports his hypotheses, his opinions, and just ignores and pushes back anything that doesn't align with his opinion. Number two is confounding variables. So certain things like socioeconomic status or lifestyle factors are not taken accounted for. So without that, it's not strong evidence. Number three is it relies heavily on observational data which is gonna be less reliable than randomized control trials. It's just overgeneralization. So it's pulling its data from rural China, which is not gonna account for like everyone. Whereas like the World Cancer Research Fund, for example, it's a global continuous update project. It's looking at people all over the world. So genetic, cultural, and environmental differences are completely overlooked because it's just looking at one spot and then creating this book, not a study, a book, to then give out the information that he believes and, and sticking to the evidence that supports his theory. I get asked about the China study all the time, this book constantly, I mean, every day, but it doesn't have any strong human data. It doesn't look at populations in a quality way with quality science. It's really just a book about his opinions.